Hi everybody. Today I'm going to talk to you about Pokemon investing or investing in Pokemon. I've done really well investing in Pokemon. Way more, um, a lot better than investing in the stock market. Um, I threw, a, put a couple quick charts up here. Here's basically what the stock market looks like. You can see like it goes up and down and like right now it went down a lot. It's still down, but it's coming back up because of the virus. Here's basically Pokemon straight up. You know, there might be a few little blips in here, but um, like for an example, um, a year and a half ago, I was looking at my Pokemon investing, like what I had bought in the past and see and uh, was seeing what it was going up to like a year and a half ago. So I wrote some things down and kept a, a log. And I decided at that time, it was a year and a half ago, around Labor Day, that I was going to buy some Pokemon and invest it in Pokemon sealed booster boxes. Like you see right here, it's black and white. Instead of putting money into the stock market. I did put a little bit of money in the stock market. And then, you know, a couple months ago, that all those gains were wiped out in one week. I've noticed the stock market goes down about 50 times faster than it goes up. And Pokemon, even when the virus was making the stock market go down, you don't see much of a, um, especially Pokemon, really. Like, I collected Magic, too. Magic took a little bit of a hit. Not much, but pfft, Pokemon is like, uh, it says virus, pfft, spit on you. So let me get to some specifics. So I've noticed that like Pokemon is so great that it doubles every three years in value. Um, for instance, 16 years ago, I bought a $100 box, $100 right here. And every year it's been doubling, actually better than doubling. Okay, for example, this um, gym challenge box that I got. Oh, I suggest you put things in plastic. I got one of these out of my safe and I dropped the box, but of course it's in cardboard and it's in this so nothing happened to it so if you're going to invest in the pokemon some of the higher end stuff or what will be higher end you know for 30 30 bucks for one of these things you can get them online it's well worth the investment so like this here a year and a half ago on ebay it was selling for six thousand dollars i just looked today and there's seven to eight thousand or yesterday whenever i looked for this first edition gym challenge box and of course, all this stuff is sealed. It's not fakes. See? Anyway, in case you want to see it. So, I've got a couple of these. and um, But that's not my best investment. I'll show you my best investment in a little bit that blows everything away. So, but what I'm saying is most of the time, you can get it to double every, every so many years, okay? That's way better than any stock that I've ever seen. So, I started keeping track of this stuff. So, I'm showing you this video... So other people that want to know, that want to invest, um, oops, knocked my camera, um, we'll have some information. Magic, on the other hand, I got this uh, box of uh, Saga, and here's why I'm bringing this up, okay, so you can compare. Like, this is Magic, I paid $2,900 for this, and it's four to 5000 well, I just checked because of the virus, it's down a little bit, um... It's around 3500 the high price maybe 4500 This is a sealed box of, of Magic Saga. This and the Gym Challenge both came out at the same time. Or Gym Heroes, one of the two. Doesn't matter. They're like, they're, they were like a few months apart, but they're both about the same. Because this, this one here is the Gym Heroes. This is a Gym Challenge. So too. That's the difference. It's a different kind of box. Anyway, um, see... $3,500, that was a year and a half ago. Now it's like $7,000. There's like seven, eight thousand, 8000 and people will accept, you know, their offer. So that can mean is, is you know, a less than that. But these Pokemon people generally don't come down too much on boxes. So, I mean, maybe the, the guy got lucky and it was $1,000 less. What would that put it at? 71 or 61 depending on what the original price was. Anyway, <clears throat> 
So, so a year and a half ago, I bought seven thousand dollars worth of Pokemon. My original investment, seven thousand, right here. Right now, it's not even been four years, and it's it's close to this. Okay. Um, so over time, it probably like every three years, it probably does double. You know, because there's going to be ups and downs depending on what product it is. You know, and, and the demand of that specific product. But generally, so 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 I'm already in line with this chart. So look at this. Over 16 years, you could take a $7,000 investment and turn it into $224,000. I mean, that's insane. You know, as long as you don't sell it. Now, I sold some Pokemon about seven years ago. Some like uh, first edition, not first edition, unlimited base for like $1,600. And that box is like $6,000 now. My daughter says you shouldn't have sold it. And she was right. So anyway, um, I'm going to get to this box here. This is black and white. This was, I paid $215 on that date, September, like I said, a year and a half ago. Now it's, it's, it's $700 online, okay? Black and white. For these two boxes, Diamond and Pearl. I paid three hundred dollars, and now it's a thousand. And some of the prices, these are like the average prices or whatever, maybe the low price. You know, it goes up and down. You know, somebody could sell something cheaper, somebody could sell something more expensive. Platinum, I paid four hundred for, and now it's fourteen hundred. A year and a half ago, so this all falls into my, You know, seven thousand dollar investment. Those were part of the seven thousand dollar investment. You know, so I spent just between those boxes there. It's like four hundred plus three hundred plus two hundred and two hundred. One, two, three, four, eight, eleven $1 hundred dollars, and it's worth what thirty eight hundred dollars, something like that. Quick math in my head. Probably probably made a mistake. So like this diamond and pearl, or no, this is the platinum one. This is platinum. You know that I paid four hundred dollars for is now worth fourteen hundred dollars. I mean, I don't have stocks. To, I don't have ever had stocks to do that. You know, unless unless you have like insider trading or something like that going on. And let's see here. Um, I'm gonna get to the big one last but here's why pokemon in my opinion is a great investment there's four reasons one is it's got cartoons two video games three it's got the card game which is this is card game collectible stuff and the toys is number four and the toys are mainstream they're not like you know somebody makes something i bought some spawn toys like a decade ago you know like they're or like some Halo toys where they're only in a certain, um, you know, like a GameStop or something like that. I mean, you Pokemon toys are at Walmart, they're at any toy store, they're everywhere. So they're very mainstream. They're not like uh, like a niche. So here I'm going to show you my biggest, the one that blows up. It's, it's actually like, instead of every, th every um, three years, it's closer to every two years it's been doubling. And you'll see. Neo Destiny. Look at this. A year and a half ago, I checked on eBay. It was like eight thousand. Now it was like thirty thousand dollars. Last time I checked, maybe it's thirty-five. These things come and go on eBay, where they're like blips. You don't really see them too much. But um, I, I think I took a picture of, of one that was like thirty-five thousand dollars. Buy it now for this first edition Neo Destiny booster box. See, first edition. So anyway, um, so Neo Destiny blows things away. Look at this. Okay, so I paid $100 for it in 2001. Okay, so every year it's been doubling. Well, actually, it's been more than doubling because look, right, according to this chart, it should be like around right in here, like say like $8,000. Well, it's not. It's way past that. Like it's into the uh, 20, uh, 28 realm and it's only 2020. Okay, it's five years ahead or so, you know, 
Anyway, I hope you like my video. Please subscribe. I'll be doing more Pokemon videos and stuff in the future. Maybe do some, uh, rip open some packs and stuff like that. But I appreciate some subscriptions and um, a like if you can. Hope you like my video. Bye. Thanks. Hi, everybody. I just noticed something when I was doing that video when I, I uh, went back and looked at it that I didn't make something clear. What I was trying to get at for comparing magic to Pokemon is Pokemon beats magic. Both of these items, products, came out the same year. The uh, magic and then the gym. Heroes. Challenge. You know, I think Heroes came out first. So that's exactly the same month as Magic came out. One of the two. I'd have to go look it up. Anyway, my point is, Pokemon is worth more than the Magic. And the reason why I'm talking about the Saga Box is Saga Box is very popular. People love it. You know, I mean, I just bought it. I bought every box that I paid $100 for back in 1998. I cracked open. I couldn't stop myself, right? That's the problem with collectibles sometimes. Um, so I bought this a little while ago. Um, when did I buy it? I bought it um, 3 24 of 20 I got a good deal on it. paid $2,900 for it. So right after I bought it, it's... Um, right after I bought it, it went up in value because I, I got it cheap enough that, you know, it was under what where they were selling for. Okay? So my whole point of this of, of, of talking about magic versus Pokemon is magic didn't appreciate as much as the Gym Heroes and Gym Challenge stuff did. They came out the same year. So I'm comparing apples to apples and not apples to oranges. You know? So like I said, um seven to eight thousand dollars is a lot more than thirty five hundred or forty five hundred dollars. Um and I think the reason why uh the magic uh, pokemon does better is these four reasons right here anyway i just want to add this to the video to make it clear uh again give me a subscribe give me a like tell them tell them uh promote me to your friends thanks appreciate it bye